Welcome back to IPO video number two. So it has been about a week since the last recording that I did on the update of our IPO client. And I just wanna update you guys on what has happened since, since this is more of a vlog style series. So we launched IPO, the public launch, and we've done over six figures in one week. We really haven't pushed out the marketing that we could have so far. We've kind of just been chilling, let it go slow and steady. Had some awesome, awesome, awesome people join. We have a guy, I think he's like multiple eight figure guy. I didn't close him. Somebody else closed him, so I haven't spoke to him yet, but sold a company and was bored and was like, I need something to do. So I'm gonna do this IPO thing. As far as our IPO client, we are finishing up the setup. With a client that big, like they do $30 million a year already. There is a lot of moving pieces. So that is the tedious kind of annoying part is we have to go back and forth with their team to get what we need, but we're building out the systems and the structure the right way the first time so that it works when we actually launch. So we've already got the sales team that we wanna pick out like on a hand. We're like, okay, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. We already know who they are obviously because of our network. And we're gonna start onboarding those reps this week. And then I'm going to review everything that we have. So all the material, all the sales process material, all of the sort of email flows, the call guides, the SOPs, absolutely everything I'm gonna review and we'll record that this next week. But I just wanna talk to you guys a little bit about IPO itself because we are now publicly out. The launch went well and I'm not pushing this like we did Closer Cartel. Like I told you guys, I'm not gonna water this down. We're not gonna turn a blue ocean into a red ocean and we're kind of taking it slow. So from a business perspective, not like, oh, look how much money I make. The way that we launched IPO is the same way that you can have your clients launch things as well. All we did was literally posted, I think five reels. They got good views, like 40, 50, 80,000 views. We got some traffic. We've been building this for the last couple of months though, to be honest. So people know what IPO is. It's been a warm, slow roll of a marketing campaign. And as of today, we finally posted the VSL. So it's that top video as well as we made an actual VSL funnel. So the VSL funnel itself is very basic and bare bones right now. I haven't had a chance to record a landing page video, but just to give you guys like a, a piece of advice, the lander of a VSL doesn't have to be complicated. Like right now, this is what we are dealing with. You can see how simple that is, right? It's literally a headline, a button, and the two case studies that we have right now. We're posting another couple on YouTube uh, this week. That's it. But the actual bulk of the VSL is once they opt in, obviously, name, email, phone number, they get taken to this beautiful, beautiful thing. And if you guys want to see a world-class VSL, I think this is the best one we've ever made. I've made probably 15 at this point for Closer Cartel and, and other things, really mainly Closer Cartel. But this VSL right here is a absolute piece of art. And basically all this does is it walks people through, hey, this is what IPO is. This is why I like this compared to other business models. We're not shitting on anything else, but it's logical. It's like, hey, why would you want to do this when you can do this? Why would you want to build an agency or an SMA or a growth operating or whatever, when you can simply work with one to three clients. Here's the math. It is not hypothetical. It's literally the most mathematical business I've ever seen. And you can make six figures a month. Why wouldn't you want to do that, right? And it's a logical argument. So it starts off with this, hey, info is a gold rush. So what's the best way to get into info? Is it to start your own offer? No. So what's the best alternative? Well, it's this thing called IPO. You're behind the scenes. You have privacy. You're niche independent. You can go work in whatever niche you want. And the earning potential is there. And then we just validate every point we make with proof because we have a good offer. We have insane results, so we don't have to like bullshit anything. So in the meantime of us getting our IPO client rocking and rolling, because it has been a week, it's kind of slow. For the sake of giving you guys some sauce, we are going to be running ads to this funnel. So I'm already having my team right now. We're focusing on two things. Close rate is not going to be a problem on this offer because one, I have Kishin on the calls. He is absolutely amazing sales rep. Close rate is going to be fine. The problem is qualified people. So we are building this funnel in a way that we can not only qualify people very, very stringently, but we can also with the target target copy and the target ads and the creatives, we can suck in all of the ideal people into the funnel. I ideally, if we're running at a $10,000 offer price right now, which will go to 12,000 here in the next couple of weeks, by the way, if you want to get in, I ideally want to spend like $1,000 per closed deal. That's a 10x return on ad spend. Obviously, that's like situational. It's ideal. It's hypothetical. $1,000 for a closed deal, meaning I'm probably going to have to spend, if we're at a 30, 40% close rate, I'm going to have to spend probably three, 4K total to get that closed deal. 
because obviously not every call you get is going to close. So I think I talked about this earlier. I'd rather worry about the cost per closed deal opposed to cost per booked call because booked call gets a little bit ambiguous when you factor in show rate, close rate, cold traffic, all these different things. And I told you guys from day one, I'm going to be very transparent with this business. We launched IPO. It is now a public launch. We've done probably 10% of the marketing and the push that we're actually going to be doing because we are running a, a sort of a price raise model. So every 10 spots, the price goes up by two grand, which is true. It's not fake scarcity. We're actually doing it. But this week I made like six figures, which is cool. Uh, the reality is that's not like six figures I want to go buy a Porsche with. It's going right back into the business because this is my info company. This is now my baby. I have to keep it alive. I have to make sure it makes money. I have to focus on service delivery. I have to go pay the coaches. I have to pay the best people to make sure that the students get the best results. And then it becomes this perpetual flywheel of where are you allocating capital? Where are you allocating resources to grow the company, to get better results? to get better leads, to get more leads, to get more marketing, to get better results. Like it's this perpetual flywheel. And I think that IPO has the legs to do a million a month. Closer Cartel never got there. I don't think it had the potential to do so. One, the price point was too low. Two, our marketing and our angles were very, to a sort of a broke audience, to be honest, like the young broke kids. But IPO is a more mature, higher level, more advanced, sophisticated offer. And the marketing will reflect that. And I think with that combination of everything, plus the knowledge that we have and, and the abilities that we have now in the team, I think this is a million dollar a month offer. So that's about all I have for you guys in this update. Sometimes business is slow, sometimes it's fast. Right now is kind of just a building period. Like we are selling, we did close, I think 90% on calls booked for IPO, which it is a launch. So it's, it's going to be a lot warmer, but we closed 90% and we have some really, really cool people inside. I love this group that we have now. I love the beta guys as well, but like this group is, I think a bit more sophisticated than the beta students initially were. Now the beta guys are crushing. They're making up to $80,000 a month. And that was only two, three months ago. But these guys in the next 60, 90 days are also going to be absolutely crushing it. And you're going to see the case studies of that. That's all I got for you guys. I am lining up going to the shooting range right now. I haven't shot the staccato yet. So IPO, baby. Baby. We make money, we shoot guns, we work with really cool people, travel around the world, do whatever we want. So I hope you guys enjoyed video two in this series and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.